Hi everybody, in this video I will be sharing strategy for your 2023 board examination and this is for class 10 students. I will also make a similar video for class uh, 12 students so you can subscribe to my channel. I uh, will be giving you subject wise strategy uh, plus plans and how to manage your time during your board's preparation. Now it is not very difficult to score above 90 plus in your 10th uh, grade because uh, you just have to be consistent for some hours. Even 4 to 5 hours of study each day can help you to score above 90 plus. And um, I know that you take a lot of tuitions in your 10th grade. Even if you don't take tuitions, uh, that is not a problem because my sister, uh, Molly, if you know her, uh, she did not take any tuitions. She was focused on self-study and still she was able to score 94 percentage. Now, I will tell you uh, how to start with your preparation. Uh, you have already uh, done many chapters, I know. But uh, to add on, to add some more details, I will tell you about this. For English, you have literature and language part. And in literature, you have this Merchant of Venice. That is by Shakespeare. It is a typical text, but when you read it, reread it, and you understand the language, you understand the lines, then you'll be able to answer the questions more uh, clearly. Now, I would like to show you this ebook score 90 plus in your board examination. And this is written by me and my sister. I have scored 97 in ISC board and 94 in class 10 boards. So I have a good experience. I've also taught on YouTube and I've taught tuitions. Um, currently, I am uh, in third year of my college. And uh, trust me, I have divided all the subjects in this ebook, giving you strategy for each of them. If you want to buy this, you can buy it from the link in the description box. Currently, it is 35% off for uh, the first 100 purchases since I have uh, published it uh, a few days back. You'll get it for 65 rupees only. I've told you like how to deal with subjects uh, and uh, what portion you have to focus on, how to write your answers. I've compiled every preparation strategy from different toppers. Try to make it in this one ebook. Uh, so that is all. And yes, um, as I told you, you can buy paraphrase for Merchant of Venice, right? And you have sh uh, short stories book, poems book. Just read the story, understand the text and uh, practice RTCs from your workbook. That will be really helpful. For your language part, I advise you to practice grammar part every week. And for essays, please have a look on synonyms. Okay. For example, you want to replace good. You may write any other synonym of good, like excellent or auspicious or something like that. Your essay should not be very flowery, but you have to put some advanced words. You can also use this app called Grammarly. Uh, that is very helpful while writing essays or whenever you write any content. Then we have um, notice writing and email writing and yes, letter also. All these three formats plus examples are provided by the council. Have a look, practice them. This is the scoring part. Okay. Moving on to next subject that is maths. After you complete all your chapters, you have learnt all the formulas. Please go ahead with PYQs. You will see a lot of questions are repeated every year. And uh, you can also practice sample question papers or maybe borrow question papers from other school students. I remember I had this uh, formula notebook for maths both in 10th and 12th. In 10th, I was not very consistent with math and that is why I could score only 96. But in 12th, I scored 100 because I strategized myself. Now, I will move on to science part. That is physics, chemistry and biology. Now, for chemistry, the most important thing is reactions, right? You will get a lot of reactions and make sure to uh, finish this chapter organic chemistry beforehand. 
naming of compounds, their reactions are definitely very, very important. Then we have other chapters like HCl, ammonia, and then periodic table and so on. So for these chapters, you have to understand the concept. Make sure to uh, understand periodic table and uh, like for ionization potential, when is it increasing? And for uh, electron affinity, when it is decreasing and so on. Laboratory preparations, catalyst, and whenever you write your reactions, make sure that you write the temperature, the catalyst, the pressure, and anything that is required. When, uh, for example, Haber's process, right? You'll have to enter all these three things. Plus, balanced reaction is the most important thing. If your reaction is not balanced, there is no chance that you will score pull in that part. Moving on to physics, I feel numericals is a part where students lose marks and even reasoning. To develop this skill, you have to go back uh, to your um, exercise portion, which you neglect. You complete the chapter. You do not uh, solve the fill-ups or numericals or any other question that is uh, provided after the completion of the chapter. So please practice them. Then we have biology. For biology diagrams, their labeling. You will get a lot of questions from diagrams. They will uh, make a diagram. For example, there is this neuron diagram, right? They'll uh, ask you what is this and then label, then function of this part, where is this part located and so on. Moving on to fourth subject. I'm covering all the science subjects because I was myself from science stream, computer. Please develop your basic programming. And let me tell you a secret. Even if your program is 80% correct in your board examination, you will score full marks in that part. All right? But try to uh, make it 100% correct by practicing programs. Array programs, like they are very, very important. Those sorting programs, searching programs. Then we have topics like encapsulation or inheritance, then output questions, refer PYQs. For computer, if you go back to 15 years, then you can score 100 in this part. Now, uh, next is history, civics, geography. Sorry for this very bad handwriting. It's a little difficult to write on computer screen. Now in history, civics, please complete the civics portion first. It is scoring, easy. And uh, after that, you can move on to the history part. In history, you have to learn the important dates, the events, their chronology, okay? And whenever you write your answers in history, you'll have to write the heading. For example, there is this political cause or economic cause. Please mention the heading like doctrine of lapse. This is the heading. Then you can write whatever you want, not whatever, whatever you want, but the uh, relevant information. Then second, Subsidiary Alliance, it's information. Then, um, like uh, any other cause, if you remember, annexation of earth and so on. Then write, you have to answer according to the marks um, that is given there. It, if it is a three marker question, write three points. If it is a four marker, write four points, right? For geography, topo sheets. If you type topo sheets ICSE and you go to the CISC channel or even if you go to Molly's channel, you will get topo sheet um, tutorial where they have uh, provided you n number of examples along with how to answer topo sheet questions. 
the second important thing is maps okay practice map work buy a physical map practice it then we have uh, you have to thoroughly study six chapters at least six chapters to score well in this part right we'll move on to the next subject that is hindi in hindi it is a very very scoring subject trust me i was very bad at hindi i um, wrote wrong answers in that priya vachi or below but i my mother and i used to sit and study this uh, pyq book my mother used to ask me priya vachi words and uh, when we did this i could discover in my board examination in 2020 i had my board exam 2018 sorry 2018 tenth board examination i was able to answer all the questions and there are a lot of choices given in this part just practice um, prayavachi will not practice just learn then mug up and then for hindi literature part you have to just read the story and answer the questions very easy part and a very uh, plus point about my channel is you will get a lot of chapters of hindi uh in that portion there is this playlist of hindi where gida ki kundliya and then other other chapters are provided that was all for the video thank you for watching this have a good day and all the best for your exams